Well, hello there. This is Nate. Hope you all are having a wonderful day today. So today I have a treat for you. This is the St. Andrews here at Homes Direct in Albany, Oregon. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. This home is made by Palm Harbor. Yes, I am directly across the street, as I've pointed out in a few other videos here. In fact, the building is directly behind me where I'm filming this one. This would be where your garage would go in this home, kind of give you an idea. So this one, as I said, is a three bedroom, two bath home. You get a dining room. You get a breakfast nook. And let me just tell you, the master bathroom OMG is all I can say. Just wait till you see the master bathroom in this home. With that, let's head on in. I'll try not to keep you waiting too long. An open floor plan, as you can tell. But we will start with the living room area. Nice and large. Now, no tray ceiling. Whether that's an option or not, I don't know. I don't need it. I, I like the way this home is laid out. I like the way it looks. The gray on the walls, that's what they went with all the way around. Now this home is well lit. So it's, uh, the previous home I filmed had the gray on it and it did not have enough lighting in it, trust me. You would definitely need to add some more lighting. So as I said, this is a very large, wide open floor plan here. The way this home is designed, I would almost have to cut the carpet off, kind of right where that pillar starts, all the way up to what is essentially your master, beth master bedroom. So you're going to want to keep that in mind if you don't like carpet in the dining room. This part is your actual dining room with the sliding glass door. Got a great big window off to the side there. Really nice light fixture up there. So you've got seating for six easy. You even get a small porch off the back here. Now this is not a very big porch, as you can tell. Now I can't go out there because they've got it blocked and locked and all that good stuff, because it's not an exit. You could easily add to that and make that a really large back porch, or deck is essentially what it would turn into. So really nice dining room area. <clears throat> and into our kitchen, you've got this. Now this isn't even the breakfast nook. This is just your, I guess you would call it a breakfast bar. Raised up from your sink on the other side. As we come around here. You can see that it is raised up. They've got the marble backsplash in there. Now it does have the dual sinks. I'm probably, my option, the farmhouse style sink. We got the lots of cabinet space down here. I can clearly see that that's where your dishwasher would go. So as I've said in previous videos, None of these show models have the dishwasher in them. You can obviously option the dishwasher in. These are the black Whirlpool appliances shown with the home. These are just show models that you're going to order off of. 
Let's see. Take a look at this big corner cabinet here. Fully adjustable corner cabinet. I'm assuming the rest of them are. Cabinets go almost to the ceiling there. And over here, you've got that marble tile or backsplash all the way to the bottom of your counters. Then they went with this glass and stainless steel inlay. Looks really nice all the way around. And over here is your breakfast nook. Now, I don't know if I'd go with such a big table. I'd probably just get like a little small square corner table to put in there. But a really nice breakfast nook. It is getting late in the day and I've been filming now since uh, 9 o'clock. It is just about 5 o'clock. So we've got a good 8 hours of filming that I've been pretty much talking non-stop in. So uh, sorry my voice is starting to get a little on the horse side. So let's come take a look at your bedrooms down here. First off, we've got a very large pant er, pantry. There is no pantry in the home. We have a very large utility room. <laughs> Here's your water heater access. This is where you're going to stick your freezer. Now there's no plug-in in there. Obviously you're gonna have to get a plug-in put in. But you've got a nice folding table. We've got full-size washer and dryer hookups. Of course, you've got your electric panel, so you can't put anything directly in front of it. But very nice utility room. You've got your water shut off. So we'll grab bedroom number one. This is the smaller of the two bedrooms. Now it's not a large bedroom, but it's not a small bedroom. So it's a good sized bedroom here. Well, decent size, I should say. Closet's a little on the dark side, so we're not going to be able to show you much of the closet. To get an idea of how big your closet is. And this is going to be the larger of the two back bedrooms. Now I can't go into the corners over there like I normally do just because of the the nightstands, but I can try to get you a little bit better view here. And this closet here is just about the same size as the previous one. In fact, the closets are back to back. So you can get an idea where how big your closet is there. And your guest bathroom here. Hello, Raiden. I should have actually saved that for the master bathroom because trust me, that master bathroom is, like I said, OMG. Try and show you your shower tub combo here. Now this has the smaller of the transom windows that, that uh, Palm Harbor uses. But as you can see, it's open. You can probably hear it, so it's nice. Get some good ventilation in here. They continued with that same marble backsplash. Let's go check out what I've been building y'all up for. And I can't even close it off. So <laughs> there is no door, so I cannot close it off. So I'm going to have to be a little more particular in the way I film, the way I walk around this room. But you've got a very large master bedroom here. 
as you can see. This room is really large. I'm going to try not to show you yet because I'm telling you, I got to keep that till the end. But you can see your room is really large. Now your closet is in the bathroom and we'll go ahead and we're going to show the closet first. I'm, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this because I'm telling you, after I do the closet, I'll, I'll show you the rest of it. So your closet here, really big closet. Now it's not very deep, but I mean, you've got a nice long closet here. All the way from this end, you even got the transom window up above there. The closet's big enough, they've got two lights in here. We'll back out, we'll close the door to the closet. Now we'll come in and I will show you the bathroom. You ready? <laughs> Look at that. Talk about luxury. <laughs> I was like, oh my, when I walked in. You've got a marble pedestal to step up to. You've got the marble all the way around your tub. This really nice glass and stainless steel inlay. Multiple layers of it. I mean, like, what more could you ask for? <laughs> I'm telling you. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a nine foot long shower. Now it's only about three foot wide, but that is a nine foot long shower with a big bench down at the end. You've got this great big drying area is what they call that. I was, Cause I asked about it. I'm like, what do they call that pedestal type area? The manager told me that is a drying area. And look at the size of the tub to go with it. And so <clears throat> if you look at it, this is kind of where I got my measurement was from another home that was kind of similar to this, but you've got one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. And that tub is five foot long, at least six foot long, almost six foot long tub. I mean, <laughs> I'm at, I'm at a loss for words, <laughs> but now enough of that. I got that out of the way. That was the, like the highlight of the video here. And I'm sure there'll be a little clip of it when we uh, do the intro, but I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Of course, we've got the standard dual sinks. They are separated. You get drawers in both of them. I have seen where only one side has drawers. The other side has nothing but uh, doors on it and then you've got more cabinet space in here and now that I'm done drooling I hope you guys are were drooling with me over this one go ahead and leave me one of those comments that just I don't even know how to describe it just how about a comment down below let me know what you think of that bathroom that was just amazing and uh, while you're down there, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. That way you get notified when I upload videos. Three times a week am I uploading, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I will see you in the next one. And I do appreciate you watching and sticking around till the end. Bye. Well, hello there. As you see, normally I'm not uh, the one to do these outros in, a, in video format. But the uh, dealer here has asked that I not include the price at the time of filming. So uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to give you the price at time of filming. 
One thing I can do though, is have you guys check the link in the description below. In that link, it will take you to the home on their website. And on their website, they do have the starting price listed for these homes. They update the starting price all the time. So in this case, unfortunately, I apologize, I cannot give you the price as shown at the time of filming. But do click the link in the description below, check out their website, check out the homes. Like I said, in each video I will have the link to that, to this specific home. Once again, I want to say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.